Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I got back to the office and there's an obscure little box sitting here on my desk. Kind of curious what it's about. <laughs> anyway, it's addressed to Phobia Medical and it says, Attention Justin's Museum. I have no clue what's in the box. If it's something inappropriate and I laugh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to say it. I'm sorry ahead of time. So let's go ahead and see what was shipped into me and what I can do with this. I'm very curious. All right. So. Definitely use some good packaging tape. I'll tell you what. Let's do this a little better. How's that? Much better. Much, much better. Packed pretty well. I've got something in here. Okay. And this one here is from Barry Voss. Barry, you have sparked my curiosity. <laughs> okay. Uh, the note says my printer doesn't work very well, but it looks like this was around in 1966. Okay. All right. Always curious. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, what a win. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's pro it says it's 60 hertz, 60 hertz, 60 pulses, what? Okay, so this is a true vintage pacemaker. Let me see if I can shed some light on the situation. Well, there we go, there we go. Vintage pacemaker. Holy cow, you can see a little pacing needle down here that's actually showing your output. I've got two uh, screw down clamps. They're not even spring loaded. These are actual screw down clamps. Looks like there's originally a nylon cap on, on them. Um, so I can adjust the milliamps and uh, I like how they're flush with the surface. That's kind of cool. Goes up to 25 milliamps all the way down to 0.5. I, how much would I bet that this guy still works? I'm a little bit curious. And this is interesting. There is a button that is being maintained by this little uh, push down. So you have to push it down and then you lock it down with this little lever. Very original. And for pace rate, it goes from 50 all the way up to 150. That is absolutely fantastic. And of course, down here is your battery cover. 5840 demand pacemaker so if it's a demand pacemaker um, so I, I could set the standard pace which is down here and up here it's in demand mode so it looks like um, standard pace it says 80 no a standard pace and then uh, demand max so I guess this guy analyzes um, or it measures your heart rhythm and it creates a demand that's what I'm assuming interesting I'm gonna check this guy out I'm gonna hook it up and uh, it's, it's obviously very delicate I can see that I don't know that I can open it up because it looks like it's hermetically sealed um, but down here is the battery cover and I will be able to pull that off and check it out but I'll hook this guy up to a defib analyzer and let's go ahead and check it out. It's clearly old. Let's see how long it's been around. And um, let's see how accurate it is. It's, it's pretty interesting. Um, it's completely analog from what I can see. And looks like it's completely functional. There's nothing damaged on it. How cool is that? It's got 
two uh, belt loops right here. So if I remember correctly, there's going to be like a Velcro belt that goes around it like this and it probably goes around your waist. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that in a future video. We'll hook this guy up and we'll analyze it and we'll test it out. And in the package is a neat little letter. And let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see what it says. It says, Justin, it was always my intent to have a medical equipment museum. When I was working as a biomed, I never had enough time. Now that I'm retired, I have even less time. <laughs> I pass along one of my premier pieces to you for your museum. Treat it well. Regards, Barry. Barry, thank you very much. This piece, this piece is actually probably going to go uh, on tour with me um, when I do um, walkthroughs with uh, colleges and stuff to show them, you know, what medical devices used to be like versus what a modern day pacemaker is going to be. Um, I, I like showing the comparison and contrast uh, for technology so we can see where we've gone and where we're headed. So thank you, Barry. I will definitely take care of it. <laughs> Mr. Voss, thank you very much for sending this in to me. What a cool little device. This is definitely getting saved. Um, it's, it's in beautiful condition considering its age. So thanks for watching, guys.